Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to create a custom vignette and draw attention to your subject. So the first thing we want to do is select our marquee tool, and we're going to do that by hitting M on the keyboard. Now, by default, it's set to a square marquee, which is not what we want, so we're going to hit Shift M, which is the keyboard shortcut, to switch it to an elliptical. Now, you can also come over here and right-click on this and then select that if you don't want to memorize keyboard shortcuts. So the first thing we're going to do is draw this little circle around our subject. You want to go a little wider than you actually intend because once we actually apply this, it's going to kind of uh, blend in a bit more than the initial circle. You'll see in a second. So then we're going to go down to our adjustments panel here and we're going to select curves. And then we're going to bend this curve down just like that. And right now it's just darkening the subject, but what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control I or Command I if you're on Mac and then hit Control shift g if you have a keyboard shortcut set up for Gaussian Blur, which I do. But if you don't, go up to Filter, then go down to Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. And then you're going to do about 350 to 400, and that's what I typically like. I'm on a 22 megapixel camera, so that's my settings for that. If you're on a lower megapixel camera, you're going to want to do less radius, and if you're on a higher megapixel camera, you're going to want to go more. And that's just because that's the way Photoshop works and the way pixels work. So keep that in mind. This is for 22 megapixels, and I'm sure it'll be more if you're on, you know, an A7R to a Nikon D810 or D850 now, or any of those other higher megapixel cameras. So we're going to go ahead and apply that radius right there. And then we're going to hit back, backslash to take a look at what our radius is and I think that's actually really quite nice. I think I'll apply one more blur just to kind of smooth the edges out even more and I don't quite want that much. We'll do something like, let's try like 100. And all this does is just kind of blurs it out just a little bit more to make the transitions a little smoother and it's, it's really not that much. So if we want to make sure our subject's face is, you know, a little better, we can hit B to bring up our brush tool, and then we can just paint in black right there. And that's just to kind of guarantee that it's not going to affect the face of the subject at all. So I'm going to go ahead and hit backslash again to remove that. And if you look, it's already kind of just darkened the overall environment and just brought more attention to her. And what I usually do is I'll grab this bit of bend in the curve here, and I'll just start moving it around again. And I will just kind of bounce it back and forth until I figure out where exactly I want it. And I think it looks good right about there. Now, real quick, I want to add a bit more contrast to this. So we're going to open up another curves adjustment. And then we're going to make a slight S curve by bringing a point there and a point there. And that's starting, it's a little too dark, so I just want to do that. I'm a little too contrasty, but I do want more contrast. So I think that looks good, but it did make it too dark on the outside. So we're going to bring up our vignette curve again, and then we're going to just kind of play with this again, the same way that we did the first time. And we'll find that. I think that looks about good. And then I'm going to go ahead and group these together. I'm going to name it vignette. And I'm going to toggle that on and off. Uh, actually, I think that might be a little too contrasty still. Uh, it's almost like too bright on that, on the face. So I'm going to just kind of toggle that a bit more. But because we raised it up, I want to put a little more of a vignette again. Sometimes when you go to grab, it'll create a second point. Just hit delete and then redo it. It's about there. And there's a before and our after. That's all there is to it. Now, this is usually the exact process I just showed. You want to kind of play with it until you get the look you want and stuff like that. And that's why I didn't like edit it and have all my settings planned ahead of time. Is I wanted to show you guys exactly how I do it. So I really hope this is able to help you kind of understand how to apply the custom vignette and how to get the look you want out of it. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you learned something from today's video so it's easier for other people to find me and learn from me as well. Feel free to share this on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, any social media you see fit. I don't care. As long as my stuff's being shared and people are learning, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.